Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. I have a lot of participants from India up to California and welcome to us. We prepared three main topics. One is the latest news, then some overview the main topic of the key changes with our new version of LightSafe 4.0 and an outlook and some important dates and next steps to apply safe and then we would like to open the question and answer session. So the first thing I would like to talk to you is that we are very proud that we have a new advisory board which help us to steer our journey in these environments which will give you good, advi good advice. You see here a a screenshot of the web page it's also to be found on our web page and I just would like to spend some words on our members of the advisory board there's Dr. Wolfgang Brandhuber he's head of agile methodology at Accenture in the DAC organization and he has a lot of experience in SAFE and in applying scaled agility then Rainer Grau he's head of business development at Digitech Galaxus and Digitech Galaxus is the biggest online shop here in Switzerland and twice as big as the second largest in Switzerland, which is Amazon. And I think they won't stop there. If you're in Switzerland, you must have heard about Ryan de Grau. He is the founding member of the Swiss Agile Leadership Circle. And he's also the main contributor to the IREP, to the International Requirements Engineering Board. And he is also a constant blogger on SAFE, on scaled agility, on the agile. Then we have Professor Dr. Bernd Hindel, which is in our advisory board. He is the CEO and owner of Method Park, the, the provider of our underlying plat process management platform stages. But besides of that, he is also the founder of the ASQF, the Quality Organization for Germany, and you could also call him the father of automotive spice. We are very proud to have him aboard as well. And then we have Dr. Thorsten Janning. He is the first or among the first SPCTs in Europe, and he is CEO and owner of Kegon in Germany, he has a lot of experience in applying scaled agility in large-scale organization and he is also the chief editor of the Object Spectrum in Germany. Then we have Dr. Jochen Jäger, he is the quality functional lead at Roche Instruments. He has a huge experience in applying Agile to medical device development. He is the co-author of the Tier 45 paper which uh, has been written two years ago and it's a complete paper published by the AMMI um, which includes how Agile can be mapped to the FDA Chapter 11 requirements to the IEC 62304 or to the ISO 13485 requirements and there is such a tremendous deep knowledge in that that we are really proud to have on the board as well. Then the last in the advisory board, but not least, is Michael Stump. He is one of the five SAFE fellows. He's managing director from Scale Dead Child in Europe and for EMEA. And what not many people know is that he played also the role for business owner for Applied Safe, for the safe content of Applied Safe. And we are really proud to have them all on the board. And it's good that they help us in the development of our product, Applied Safe. We will be at the SAFE Summit in two weeks in Colorado, and three members of the advisory board will be also present at the SAFE Summit. So if you're joining at the SAFE Summit, please welcome us and see us there. One other thing that we have done, we performed a webinar, a public webinar on scaling Agile in the regulated environments together with our partner Blue Agility and you can look up the recording of the session here as well and what we explained here is how you can in details how you can reach compliance with Applied Safe to specific reference models but also to company specific reference models and 
HIPAA and the SOX compliancy and you can learn how to combine agility, efficiency and compliance to regulatory requirements within organizational processes. So please look up this, uh, this link which we have provided for you. And then another big news for us was that Enterprise Safe, which is a product from Scaled Agile, is no longer being offered commercially. This has been communicated two weeks in the partner web call and it has been officially published on the website as well. So I can tell that here as well. Um, there are a lot of things that have been sent by uh, Francis Kelly from Scaled Agile and here's a link to the video. Just listen to it, what he says. It's very interesting and it also helps us to understand what will be the next steps with Applied Safe. So another webinar, uh, another session we had with Jennifer Fawcett. She's a SAFE fellow. She was here in Zurich and we had an experience learning session uh, where we talked about successful SAFE implementation approaches and she uh, explained us um, what the newest approach at the Scaled Agile is. It was, a, it was a lightning talk of 20 minutes and then we discussed it in our process management group from the SAQ. Uh, the recording is available of that session but not the discussion. It was decided that this is on the disclosure but you see also in our link some words of things which have been said and they can be published as well. And then another nice thing which we would like to tell you is that we had Scaled Agile at home. There were, there were two SAFE fellows. That is almost half of all the SAFE fellows in the world. These are the people which are really defining the Scaled Agile framework. And they have been in our office in the Petco this is here. Our touch screen which we are using for the video productions as well. And then there's Michael Stump on the right side. There's Carl Starndahl on the left. Then Jennifer Fawcett, in the middle it's Stefan Küffer and myself a little bit on the right of Stefan Küffer. Bernd Weber was here as well. Uh, he's a safe business development, but he took the picture and it was a very nice session. We talked about a lot about um, essential safe, which we will show you in a minute. And afterwards we had to drink our roof garden in the office here in Zurich. So, Without further ado, I would like to talk to you about the key changes of the new version of Applied Safe 4.0. And it has a new name. It's called the Matterhorn Edition. And that's also the reason why we have this beautiful picture of this mountain here. Before I start to talk about the versioning names, a short refresher about what Applied Safe is. Applied Safe is a fully fledged ALM tool agnostic implementation of SAFE as a process model. We won't demonstrate the tool itself today, just the new changes, but just as a reminder, it's a comprehensive process model. It has roles with ERASIC, activities, templates, guidelines, metrics, milestones and phases included. And it builds, of course, on SAFE 4.0 because for us, when we started, almost three years ago, it was the future de facto standard for scaling agility in the industry and now it is the de facto standard and we have built it on the leading process management tool stages from Mephapar. And what we do with that is we bring the framework to life as a ready to go with implementation. You can start right away and you see all those levels, enterprise, portfolio, value stream, program, team in SAFE. And what you can do with Applied SAFE, you can instantiate it independently on each level. And with, together with the customization of the built-in tailoring, it allows you to run multiple concurrent process variations. And of course, you can extend it, you can adopt it, you can integrate it with your own process assets if you have your own SOPs, standard operating procedures or your own tool sets which you're using, you can extend it and adopt it. If you, have, if you know the history of SAFE, you know that 
in a, in a certain cadence, like one and a half year, there is always a new version coming up, 2.0, 3.0, now 4.0. And every time when a new version comes up, we will provide you with a core process which allows you that you're upward compatible. And we have developed Applied Safe closely with Scaled Agile. And um, when there is a new version coming up, it will be in sync with Safe within 30 days of the release of the net, of the safe version. What we will show you, what Stefan will show you, is that it's running on a cloud server. You can have it as a managed software as a service, or you can run it on your own cloud server in, inside your company. Applied Safe includes compliance mechanisms for regulated environments, and it also includes additional level five capabilities like processes and work products for organizational learning for governance and organizational process focus so you have a lot of content defined included which is usually needed in the regulated environments and if you look up the web page from Scaled Agile Framework, it's obvious that you can look at the content, but it's all copyright protected. And that is what we have also done. We include the licensed safe content and templates in Applied Safe. This has a very good, uh, has the advantage that if you have seen something in the course material, it will look exactly the same in your company specific definition of safe as well. We have some integrated work product reviews built in. This is an automatic feature which you can use. And all this together helps you to combine compliance and efficiency to scale agility on an enterprise level. We have been asked several times, what kind of problems do you address? And there's a long list here. You can read it up later because you will get the slide deck as well. I just pick two of them. You don't have defined roles and responsibility. This will hinder you transparency and, and hinders the people to excel at their best level. And so with Applied Safe, new joiners are able to contribute to the value chain very soon. And what is also important that we have a lot of clear then descriptions and time and effort is not lost on useless discussions on how something is done on already defined topics, for example, Kanban. You don't want to start over and over again because it is not described. And that is what Applied Safe provides as well. So the next slide I would like to hand over to Stefan. Thank you, Peter. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the changes we did uh, with our last uh, release. And the big topic was release and versioning. And you might remember that uh, based on the SAFE 3.0 approach, our applied SAFE release numbers were going up to uh, 3.5. And this was mainly based on additional content that we were creating out of Petco, uh, content around development, testing, product management, risk management, and so on, especially also content that we use for compliance topics. Um, uh, and there were um, enough um, to, to, to implement the new minor release. Now, the, the issue that we have in our community, and we also got feedback around that, is that uh, clients don't understand anymore uh, what really what the content is that is inside of our product release. And so we uh, aligned together with Scale Dodge and Incorporated that our release numbering is always the same as the underlying safe uh, version that you are using, which means um, we had to change the release concept, and that's, that was the point that we added these mountain names, like for, for example, the Matterhorn, or we use any other kind of names, like the Annapurna, or Fujiyama, or Kilimanjaro, or any nice mountain from the Colorado area. Um, we currently started with the Matterhorn edition, we call it, and as, uh, as long as there is no change on the safe side, then we remain with the number 4.0, that is currently the, the latest number that we do have. And if we change on the PEPCO side additional content, if we bring new content, then we will change the mountain name. Um, all will be uh, summarized and in the release notes so that you always know what, what the content is about of such a, a, an addition that we deliver to the, to, the, um, to the market. 
So that's the change. So as of now, we have this as applied safe 4.0 map the horn release. And this release is now uh, ready as of today. So we are very happy that this is now here. You can order it, um, we demo it, we uh, can show it in, in our playground. It's all here as of today. That's, that's pretty cool now. So that's about the, the versioning. Now about the product variation. Um, what is the content that we also bring now with this method on release? Uh, the biggest um, part is the essential product variation that we have now in it. And I just want, want a little bit um, is to explain what happened uh, based on feedback that we got from our clients. We had many clients that were asking for the essential content because they start the release train and are looking also just uh, on safe essential content as a start. And then they wanted to combine that still with some extensions. For example, especially in regulated industries, many of these clients, they do have, for example, face gate. So they wanted to add face gate information from their company. And we didn't have these kind of extension um, in our um, uh, smallest release that we have before. So we completely revised our product variations. And now we do have four product variations, starting with the essential, that is also based on the essential safe content and extend it with the knowledge management and organizational learning module from Petco. And then we build it up. The foundation content has mainly everything in it. Just some very complex um, situations are not part of it, like for example, the variation topics that you use to coordinate value screens. And up then to the managed and enterprise level, you really have then a full content and additional features from the underlying tool stages, like for example, the instantiation that you get with Manage, so you can have from each of the different applied safe levels, many instances for teams, programs, or portfolios. And with the enterprise, you get additional um, content as well. So that's the setup that we did. And the fact sheet is now revised as well, so that you have an overview, which you see here now with all the um, common features for all the product variations. Um, and then there is additional content that is explaining about the extensions and compliance topics and so on. You all can uh, see that on our fact sheet. And I'll just show it here briefly. Um, and on our website as well. So here you have a few on the fact sheet. That's the first side and on the back side. We then also have all the product variations on it. And if you go uh, on our website on the www.blindsafe.com, uh, then you also find on the product variations the content um, showed here, including fact sheet, brochure, and release notes. Uh, everything is published here. You can click through it. You need to have the tabs here with all the different information so that you understand what's the differences between these four product variations. Um, and then you can decide what best uh, suits your um, requirements. So that's the part about um, the different product variations. Um, now, some input about the key changes bit. Applied Safe, it is latest uh, Safe 4.0, Applied Safe 4.0 Matterhorn edition. As mentioned, it's the essential safe configuration uh, from the safe part, but also from our side with the knowledge management part. Um, we also implemented um, um, the decision analysis and resolution process. That there is also a new method, the cost of delay calculation, which you can use for uh, your prioritization. Um, it's a very nice uh, practice that is coming from um, from the uh, from Ryan McGraw that has from been, the Digitech uh, Collapsus. Digitech example that uh, Peter before has explained. Yes. Now, I just go a little bit into tool now so that you have an understanding of how it looks like. Uh, so you see here now our demo playground, the, uh, this kind of playground you can order as well from us. And I just explain briefly now a little bit how it looks like. We did the whole implementation based on, on, on the configuration. So that's a sophisticated configuration based on stages tailoring. And if you click, for example, now on the portfolio, then you can see it looks very small uh, picture-wise, but also if you go a little bit in some of the details, like the processes, for example, 
you see there is just the value streaming and then the lease chain building and maintenance and all the other topics are not part of it. This so Stefan, this is something that uh, companies want to start with and they just want to launch the first train, is that right? That's exactly right. Yeah. Cool, cool stuff. So the focus is on the art and uh, the team, but not really on the, on the portfolio, but on the portfolio side, the minimum that you need is the value streaming and the release train building and all the rest is gone. And uh, I can just, do you see the same now with the, with the work products, the work model, pr product model looks very small, it's a tiny model. So the portfolio part is the smallest one. And just for those of you who have never seen the other part, I just briefly show you how it looks in, in, the, in, the, in the foundation when you have everything. Um, then you see you have many, many processes here, especially also processes that you can use in regulated environments. All of these are not available in the essential approach. And it's especially for those clients that don't want to use these as a start and just focus on the, on the essential topics. Therefore, we build it. I go back to the slides briefly. So as explained before, um, you can start small, but with a very powerful implementation of Applied Safe. It's just the essential elements that are here, um, which makes it also cheaper to start. Uh, you only get the minimum and can make a very start, uh, very um, fast start. You will, can use the capability of organizational learning. That's a very important start for the whole knowledge management around your team members and program members that you have, focus on implementing SAFE uh, as a first step and then growing with us. An important information is also if you decide for essential, but maybe after your first or second as a successful start of an art, you can still decide to have more of applied SAFE coded. You can go for a foundation or a managed uh, product variation that I've explained before, and you can do so with no uh, uh, migration effort. It's just an easy setup that we can easily bring to you, and you don't have to change your extended processes and so on. So that's really easy and smooth to start small and then grow into a bigger environment with the great support of Applied Safe. Stefan, does that mean that if I do extensions on Applied Safe uh, Essential, and I will later go on to foundation or managed that I can use them directly. Absolutely. And that's really a cool implementation. You don't have to do any kind of migration. You just import our bigger um, 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 product variation of Applied Safe. And all what you have done before is still there. It does work and run nicely. So that's, that's really a pretty cool feature that we've implemented. Gorgeous. So, as said, I mean, the availability is as of today. That was the first public webinar where we um, showed it that it is now here. If you are interested uh, for your company um, to have a demo or if you want to have a demo playing ground, you can request that as well and then further evaluate the capabilities of Applied Safe and look if it really matches into your environment. Just get in touch, in touch with us and uh, we support you and get you the playground as fast as possible. We're always happy to organize a personal demonstration for you where we take much more time to go into details of Applied Safe, which allows you to understand the capabilities, benefits, and advantages of Applied Safe. Because today we just wanted to show you a glimpse on the new features of Applied Safe Essential. Exactly. So um, with that playground, you also get a lot of comprehensive documentation. And clearly, even when you buy it, then you get all the stuff that is mentioned here. So it's a lot around, especially when you do process extensions, which you now can do also with smaller product variants that we have explained before. You get all the models and the information so that you can easily extend it with your engineers and your company as well. So there is uh, comprehensive uh, documentation available with product delivery as well. So I give back to Peter for the wrap up with the value proposition and some other news. Yes, and together with the new launch of the Matterhorn edition, we have re reshaped our value proposition as well. And there are some new sentences. And just to remind you with Applied Safe is that we think um, that we are sure that you can implement fast and precise safe in your company because you have a full and crystal clear implementation which sharpen the discussions with precise definitions and you can maximize the focus on the value of delivery in your team and of course 
because it's a right away implementation, you can minimize the cost of delay. You don't have to wait two years until you have produced such a process model and you can save years of the definition work. Then you can customize it with the pre-built tailoring, you can extend it and you can reduce therefore the waste and save money because you only do that in the specific instantiated oh. programs, value streams and teams, what is really needed for your teams. You can use the existing metrics and you minimize the adoption and creation and investment. Then you can establish compliance. There's a whole suite of processes and mechanisms to ensure that you will comply with specific reference models or your own. And we have also defined the level five processes which are needed to bring such a thing into life. And also included in those level five processes is a complete framework for learning, innovation and continuous improvement. And so it, it helps you that you will maximize the innovation and the improvement of your value mm -hmm. delivery. So some outlook important bits and next steps. So what we will have in two weeks, we will be in Colorado <laughs> at the SAFE Summit, which is sold out. And it was, I was last year there, there's a great event and there are more than 400 people attending right now and it's sold out and we will be present there at the partner day as well as at the conference and we will have a booth there and if you are going to the safe summit come to our booth let, let's talk about applied safe uh, let's um, let's get a brochure for you and the fact sheet and uh, you can just get it at our place and we have also a preview on Applied Safe on the new version of Stages, which is version 7. We will show that in a minute. And our and Stages is our underlying world-class process engineering platform. There is another conference, which Stefan will do. Yeah, there will be the second Agile in Automotive conference in Stuttgart, Germany. Last year we've already have been there at the first one with the booth. This year we are again there with the booth, but also with the tutorial. Uh, visit us at our booth. Then also will join our tutorial. It's at the 15th of November, and it will um, co cover topics around applied safe and automotive compliance in action. That's a focus, uh, especially on automotive spice, and with the different elements of safe and the underlying tool stages that we want to show in action there. Great, this is really something to see and this is something that I would like to show very much. This is the first preview, some screenshots of version 7 of, of Stages and it looks now very cool. It looks now really 2016 Facebook like an uh, ages and you see that the views which we can have in Stages, you can um, put them together by yourself. You just say what you want to see. You have very dynamic work, product use and descriptions, and you have comments and activities. So it's the same content, the same behavior as you already know, and it's just much, much more beautiful, visualized and, and touchier to handle with. It's really great to see that new version coming up, and we would like to give you a preview at the Safe Summit of that just drop by and we will talk about what that looks like. So this is all we had to say for today. 30 minutes are almost past. So explore a potential fit for you. If you wonder that SAFE is the right thing for you or if you wonder how applied SAFE could be of benefit for you or if you're worried about the compliance of your process, just get in contact with us. You have the coordinates here and to request more information or, or schedule a, a, a webinar or a demonstration of Applied Safe. We are happy to help you and we are here to provide you with that information. So we would like to hear from you, get in touch with us for an individual demo, request your personal playground for an evaluation, practice to boost your agile transformation with our knowledge, spread a word about Applied Safe 4.0. I would like to 
Thank you for your attention today and I'm wishing you a nice day. Yeah. Wish you all the best. I hope to hear you soon to make a demo of this nicely applied safe. Yeah, and to see you at the safe summit or the agile in automotive. Exactly. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye.